morning everyone. I am in LA today. I'm really excited because it's Coachella weekend and if you don't know what Coachella is, Coachella is a music festival in Palm Springs that is the entire weekend. Today is Wednesday. I'm staying a few days in LA before just because, you know, I kind of want to get adjusted, feel like I'm here before I just get thrown into this like insane music festival. I'm currently in my hotel in West Hollywood and I actually, let me tell you a funny story. I woke up this morning bright and early at like 6.45 and I opened the corner of my eyes and I saw the sunrise and I was like, oh my god, I need to be there for the sunrise so I put my clothes on washed my face put a sweater on grabbed my water bottle grabbed my journal went up the elevator in the span of like five minutes like I was in the elevator being like wow I literally woke up four minutes ago and then I discovered that the rooftop is actually closed which is really unfortunate but now I'm awake and it's 7 a.m. which is honestly a blessing in disguise because now I can seize the day as they say I'm gonna have a really fun day today basically by myself I actually really love spending time with myself especially in a new city today we have like two different appointments we have one called the talks it's like a lymphatic draining massage I also have a facial with Ole Henriksen which is crazy they're actually inviting me to come into their spa and Ole Henriksen is like a brand that I've been shopping for since I was like in grade six I also need to go to the mall probably like Melrose and go buy some little black booties for Coachella I want to go to a cafe and maybe do some work I do really want to go to the gym I want to make sure that I keep my routine while I'm away because that's something that is always a flaw for me like whenever I go on vacation I just completely throw out all my habits and and I go crazy and then I feel like shit and I wonder why so I'm trying to like work out eat healthy whatever but I also like I'm in LA and I'm just so happy to be here it's so grateful if you guys are new to my channel please subscribe so you guys don't miss another video or miss my Coachella content because you guys are gonna really like it and yeah I hope you guys are doing well let's get into the vloggy look at this view and tell me this isn't insane I feel like I'm in a dream right now like imagine one of these houses being your childhood house I think I'd cry up for a Pilates class in an hour, which is super exciting. It's gonna be at 8.30. This is gonna be the outfit that I'm wearing today. This set is from Set Active. It is the sport body material and it's my favorite material by far. And then I've got some sweatpants and this little baby tee from Brandy and my Lulu water bottle. Set on and I feel like a baddie, like a freaking baddie. Like I can like, like I can go to a boxing class and my extensions check. This is gonna be a dress with me. Like the ones they make on TikTok. I'm putting on Brandy Melville pants over my set active set. Little baby tee, it's slow key wrinkly, but we're not gonna talk about it. Unfortunately, I didn't bring a tanned tote bag, which I knew was gonna be a mistake. So we're gonna have to bring a black one, which like doesn't really match the outfit. Actually, it could match if we wear black shoes. One of my big rules with fashion, well actually it's not fashion, this is like a basic rule, but I feel like if you don't know where to start, always match your shoes, bag, and accessories together. It just always pulls together the outfit. You don't want to be wearing too many colors. I'm gonna bring this black tote bag. It is from West Holly, or it is from, just becoming a local. <laughs> it's from Los Angeles Apparel. Same thing. I'm going to grab my wallet, water bottle. I'm actually gonna bring my computer just because they might give me a locker and it would just be great if I could edit at a cafe after. I think that would be super great and wholesome. I'm gonna bring my AirPods. God, I really hope they do have a locker. Otherwise, I don't want this to get stolen. I'm gonna bring some gum. For hair, this is where it gets tricky because I've never worked out in extensions before and honestly I'm all oh my god this like stuck to my face what the frick if you guys were wondering what mask that was, it looks like this. It is hydrating watermelon eye mask. I don't think we really need it since we're literally gonna get facial today, but it's fun to be bougie sometimes. I'm gonna try to like really keep my space clean because that was also something that really ruined my vibe last time. I'm going to apply this Zo Skin Brightening Serum on my forehead just because I have these like, not scars and they're not beauty marks, but like spots maybe. Oh, I'm actually so happy my skin is doing so well. I'm gonna apply just a little bit of this Superberry Hydrating Dream Oil. Oh, I feel so good. Maybe it's a soft tanner. I just feel cute. Okay, I'm gonna put my hair out. I can like feel the extensions. If you've ever had extensions before, they feel kind of crazy. They're like bumpy on your head. I feel like Iron Man. I'm probably gonna have to wear my hair up like in a bun because it's so long. Also, I don't know how long I'm gonna keep these extensions for. I didn't plan to have them for so long, but also you could have them up to a year and like I really like the way they look. Like so cute. You know what? We're gonna do a ponytail, but it looks too good right now to like wear it up the entire time. So we'll just pin it up when I get there. I brought some 
some vitamins with me from home. I got roasted last time I made a video because I ate too many vitamins. You guys were like, do not vitamin overdose. That's not the goal. That's not what we're trying to do. But I'm gonna have just like three here. Some of this glow screen, sunscreen by Supergoop. Okay, here we are. I just took a walk here. Just came out of the Pilates class. They didn't let me film, which was super annoying, but understandable. I mean, it's always kind of a touchy subject to film in a workout class because a lot of other people don't want to be on film, but it was really fun. I really liked it. It was honestly quite the confidence boost because I've never done like an actual class before. I've only done an intro and he told me he would give me the verbal pass to basically going to the intermediate. I think it's honestly because I do like yoga and like I've been in gymnastics and like cheer before that like all those core exercises are really easy for me, but yeah, it was so fun. It was called Spear Pilates by the way. And also it's only 9.30. I'm going to go into this earth bar right here and see if there's a smoothie for me to drink. beautiful hotel. I'm gonna eat because I'm not gonna have a lot of time. I'm honestly a little bit stressed out because I have so much to do and I don't know if I'll have enough time for it. I'll give you a little list of my to-dos. I have an appointment at the talks at 3 p.m. It's basically like a lymphatic draining situation thing. I think they massage your stomach to remove water weight or something. I don't know. Basically, they offered me to come in and I wasn't gonna deny it, but it's in Studio City, which is 30 minutes away from where I am right now at 3 p.m. You can't eat after 2.15, so I'm gonna eat lunch right now. The lunch that I'm eating is the tabule salad that I I bought from Whole Foods that I bought yesterday. I've got some fruit here and I've got this hibiscus ginger raw kombucha. So I have to leave here at like 2.15 and it's 12.44. I have like an hour and a half. So probably not that long. I'll probably just stay here. But I do need to film like a sponsor for something and get changed and like do my makeup just a little bit. That goes from three to four, takes an hour. Then I need to drive another 18 minutes or not drive, Uber. Uber another 18 minutes to Ole Henriksen. Honestly, I'm not complaining at all because the errands that I'm running are like the best problems I could have. They're not even problems, but I mean like the best dilemma I could have is that I'm, I'm so stressed about all my appointments. Like, goddamn. I know that sounds stupid AF. This is not an everyday thing for me. It's just today. I'm very grateful. But then I have the Ole Henriksen facial at 5 p.m. I need to go pick up my Revolve Festival bracelet that I cannot forget. And I need to go to Shopo to pick up my outfits for Coachella. And then tonight I think we might go out. I'm just kind of stressed because I think we leave tomorrow morning and I have to check out tomorrow morning. If I go out tonight late, I'm still gonna have to wake up early tomorrow and get everything done. I'm gonna eat this, answer some emails, and then we'll talk again. Okay, we're done eating. I just messaged Shopo, which is the brand that's like, I, have, I, I haven't explained yet, but oh my God, my hair. I need to go pick up clothes from them and she was like, you need to come now because we're gonna be gone by 5 p.m. I have an appointment. I just explained everything to you. So I'm gonna get ready right now super fast and then head on over there. My Uber bills right now? <laughs> I think honestly it's more worth it to rent a car because this is not okay. I've spent so much money on every single Uber. Anyways, we're gonna pick an outfit, something cute, something cozy. I just can't tell the weather right now to be honest because sometimes I wanna wear like shorts but I'm like, are other people wearing shorts? Like I don't wanna be the only one wearing shorts. Like you know when you were in middle school and you text everyone like, it's a shorts day. I can't do that with people randomly walking the streets. Like I wish I knew what the dress code was. But I think we're gonna do jeans, like low-waisted Levi jeans. They are wrinkly as frick. My mom would 
be so mad at me, but that's all we got. Why would, I think every time I pack for LA, I pack the wrong things. Like I actually don't know what's wrong with me. Like I only pack party shirts, are you kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna wear this Aritzia bodysuit. It's like a shorts, but I'm gonna put the jeans over this. The jeans are pretty loose, so it doesn't really change that much to it. This alone would look really cute, but I just feel like so naked, like walking around the streets. I'm gonna wear my Nike Dunks. A little bit of a tight. <gasps> oh, you're done. I just broke my nail. No. Is this a fat joke? I'm gonna save this with me and see if I can go to a nail salon and like attach it together because that is not okay. That is unacceptable. I'm gonna put it in my wallet. Now I wanted to do my makeup just to like look extra cute, but I do not have time for that right now. I've talked about it so many times, I think, but I'm wearing the Tanologist self tanner and I never understood the hype when people said like they feel so much more confident with self tanner, which I mean, it's kind of a given. Everyone feels a little bit better, I think, in the summer when they've got a little natural glow to them. But whenever I did fake tan, Tan or got a tanning job done it always looked way too orange so I was like not doing that but these are tanning drops that you mix in with moisturizer and I feel like it just looks so good oh should we do glasses that could be the moment I don't know if those ones specifically Oh my god, it's kind of funky. Guys, comment down below if you want more structured videos or more vlogs. Because I think I like filming more vlogs, but I think some of you guys want more structured videos. And it's making me question what I do. I just think vlogs so much more, like, personal. And whenever I do, like, a main channel type of video, even though I only have one channel, but, like, a structured, planned video, I just feel like it's more geared towards gaining new subscribers. So it's, like, doesn't have to be very personal. But to my current subscribers, they're like, hey, yo, why are you acting weird and not talking about your life? This would look better if I, like, added more jewelry and, like, chunky gold stuff, but I don't have time for that right now. Ooh, okay, wait. I'm gonna make time just to put these necklaces on that I bought today. They're from Princess Polly, and they're, like, beaded. Honestly, notice that wearing bright and colorful jewelry it might be too bright. Might be pushing it. But wearing colorful jewelry actually really does make my mood better. Let's get going. I'm gonna book an Uber, and then we're gonna go to our first appointment of the day. I just got here. I'm at a show and I'm gonna pick up my items for Coachella. So this is actually me heading into the Pull PR, and basically they are a PR our agency that carry a bunch of different brands one of them being Shopo which is the brand that is sponsoring my trip to Coachella so I went to pick up all the outfits that I had previously picked out before going then after that I ubered to the talks and I took my massage it felt so good and it lasted an hour and then off to my next appointment I went to the Ole Henriksen spa and it was so beautiful I ended up getting a Hydra facial and they did some pore extraction which was super great the guy doing my facial was so kind I honestly had such a great experience here <laughs> I ended up heading over to the Beverly Mall, I believe it's called, and I did some last minute shopping for shoes and accessories. Good morning! It is currently 6.26 and last night at 12.45 I booked a Soul Cycle class for 7 a.m. That gives me a solid like 30, 34 minutes! 34 minutes to get ready. I actually booked it with Sab, but she hasn't texted me, so I'm a little bit concerned if she's gonna pull through. Let's get ready. yerba mate so early but i'm gonna do it just because it's caffeinated i'm so freaking tired i brought my ice roller literally from home because i really like it but i tried putting it in the mini fridge and it's just not even cold enough like this is colder 
excited. Soul Cycle isn't that easy for me, but I've definitely gotten better. I've only taken like four classes. I'm also gonna bring my computer and stuff because I have so much work to do after, but I need to come back here and check out at like 12, so that might be an issue. super cute she actually went to the workout class as well i don't really get to film anything because they don't let you but now i'm at this cafe i'm gonna be here for two hours and i have a meeting at 10 which is super exciting such a beautiful day a meeting that went really well. I'm gonna have a Siggy's plant-based probiotic coconut drink. This is intense, but it's non-dairy and we love that. It's got eight grams of protein, seven grams of sugar. We don't care about the rest. I hope this tastes good. Definitely all natural, made with real fruit, no stevia, no artificial sweeteners, no artificial flavors, no preservatives. Like, why did I pick this? What is it? I feel like it should have a seal. Like it's just open. Like couldn't anyone just like open this in the store and like try it out? Oh my god. It was good and then it was bad. The aftertaste really like gets you. It's like sour. It's probably the coconut. It's probably the probiotics. Like the probiotics are probably doing something. I'm in a shower. I need to go to the Revolve store and pick up my wristband for Coachella or Revolve Festival. Oh my god, it's really not good. So I walked over to the new Revolve store on Melrose and it's so beautiful. They even have a cafe in there. Everything looks so aesthetic and picture worthy. And I picked up my ticket and so crazy, Laura Lee actually came up to me and told me that she watches my YouTube videos, which is insane. And then after that, I went to Earth Cafe and I ordered myself a nice big salad. And of course, I dropped it all over myself, which was super embarrassing. Anyways, that was my final LA vlog. My next video is going to be a Coachella video. I'll see you guys soon.